How's it going guys? Today I've got 10 of my favorite tips and tricks you might not already know. Kicking it off with a fun one. To make the photo more interesting, I am going to add some effects to the photo. To use polar coordinates, your image needs to be square. So you can use the marquee tool, use shift, left click, drag over the part of the image you like. Then copy all the layers. Paste your image into a new file the same dimensions that you copy. Photoshop will automatically fill in the dimensions for you once you copy the image. Then you will need to select your photo with Command T. Then to flip your photo upside down, right click and go to flip vertical. Then go to filter, distort, polar coordinates. And hit OK. Now your image has the effect. You can copy your image once again. Go back over to your original file and paste it in with Command-V. Depending on your file size, you can leave it square or hit Command-T to resize your image to fit. Once that's done, you can add effects and make it your own. My second tip is matching the color of two images. Here I have a night shot and a day shot of a giraffe. First, if needed, cut out your image. Click the layer you want to match the color with and go to image. Adjustments and match color. You will then need to select the source. This is the file you are working on. Then select the layer you want to match your selected image with. Once that is done, every image is different. So you can play around with the settings on this until you feel the color matches to how you like. Once done, hit OK. You can see the full process of this video by clicking the link on the top right hand corner. Tip 3 I will show you 3 ways to use Content Aware. Content Aware is an amazing tool that allows you to remove unwanted parts of your image. The first one is by using the Spot Healing Brush tool on the left side of your toolbar, or use the shortcut, which is J. Draw over the part you want to remove and once covered, release and it's done. Sometimes it will leave bits behind. You can go back over with the same tool and click those affected areas until it's gone. Second way is with the lasso tool. Click the lasso tool or use the shortcut L. Draw around the part you want to remove and release. Then right click the area you have drawn around and select fill. Make sure the content dropdown is set to content aware. Once done, click OK. The third way to do this is with the patch tool. To get to this, you need to hold down on the spot healing brush tool and select patch tool. Like the lasso tool, draw around the part you want to remove, but this time once done. Release, hover over the cropped area and pull around until another part of the image takes over and removes the subject. When you are happy, release and it will adjust the colors accordingly. Tip 4 makes editing photos and creating artwork much easier. If you didn't already use this feature, so start by cutting out the image you want to use the clipping mask tool on. If I wanted to add shadows to this tennis ball, without a clipping mask it would spill over the edges, so what you do is add a new layer. Right click the image and select Create Clipping Mask. Now when I draw on the tennis ball, it will not go over the edges. I can then go and change the blending mode to make it more realistic. I can also use the clipping mask to add filters that I can change at any time by going to adjustments. Then for example, I can use curves. As you can see, it changes the whole image. So I will need to either right click or click this button here. Now I can make further changes to the file and continue to add more layers. Tip 5 is great for photographers. If you've taken an amazing shot but feel it is not completely straight, the ruler tool will save the day. In this shot you can see the horizon is slightly off. To fix this all you need to do is go over to the eyedropper tool, hold down and select ruler, drag the line across the uneven horizon, then go to the top and select. Straighten layer. Your image would then rotate to line up that area. For a quick simple fix for the white areas, simply press Command T and increase the size of the photo. 
Tip 6 is another great trick to fix on even photos. As you can see the house in center frame is not straight. I've added guides here to show you. To fix this we can simply go to filter and select camera raw filter. I have more on this later. Just in the top area is the perspective and transform tool. When you're in that tool you simply draw a line over the edge you want to straighten. To get the line perfect you can hold down alt whilst drawing your line to zoom into the photo like this. Then do this on all four edges and it will automatically line up your image. Once done, hit OK. Again with the white area showing. A quick fix for this is to hit come and T and drag the image to the corners. Tip 7 is perfect for the end of your work or for improving a photo. Make sure your photo is on one layer as this only works on a single image. This does not work if you group images. I would recommend duplicating your work before flattening the image. To get here, just like before, you click filter, camera raw filter. Once you are in the camera raw filter, you have a lot of settings to work with. There is no right or wrong way to do this as every image is different. Play around with the settings until you get something you like. You do not have a specific style you would like. You can go to the end tabs for presets. Here you have 11 tabs with filters that can be added straight onto your image. Once you have the filter style you like, hit OK and your image is done. Tip 8 is one for those who use the brush tool to draw or write. You try to draw with the standard settings on Photoshop. The movements pick up every movement so you end up with uneven lines. To fix this, you simply have the brush tool selected and go to smoothing in the top bar. Here you can select your desired percentage. This will allow you to remove all smaller defects that appear when drawing. If you have a tablet and want to show pressure, you will need to select another brush that allows pressure. This will allow you to draw like this. Obviously without smoothing you lose the smooth edges. On tip 9, this one is great for quick easy edits on a photo. To get here you select filter, filter gallery. You have a lot to choose from here. You can turn your photo into a cartoon like image. You can also add layers by clicking the plus icon which allows you to customize your image even further. Once done, hit OK. My final tip is with the marquee tool. There are a few shortcuts to make this tool even easier to use. The first tip is if you wanted to create a box around your image, but missed part of the image. Before releasing, if you press and hold the space bar, you are able to adjust the marquee tool instead of deleting and starting again. You want to start by using the marquee tool from the center of the subject. You can do this by holding down the option key for Mac or Alt key for Windows. You want to keep your cutout even on all sides. Like a square, you can hold down the Shift key and this will make your adjustment a perfect square. The last tip for this is the Add and Remove option. You want to remove part of the cutout. You can hold down the Option key for Mac or Alt key for Windows. If you want to add more to your cutout, you can hold down shift and drag over the area you want to add. Thank you so much for watching and I hope these tips and tricks help you with your learning and understanding of Photoshop. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. If you want to check out my latest videos of speed art, be sure to head over to my channel and take a look. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.